Hello my little woolies. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to manage the shaker rib stitch, also called half fisherman rib stitch. Really easy to do is just two rows, repeat pattern. It doesn't curl and it's also reversible, although not identical on both sides. This should be the wrong side of the work but I have to say I like both. It depends of what you are knitting. It's perfect for knitting men's and women's sweaters, cowls, scarves, and also for baby garments. It's really cute and easy to do. So let's get started. Cast on an even number of stitches. I'm going to cast on 12 stitches for this demonstration. First row and every other row wrong side of the work. This should be the right side of the work, the one that is created by the even rows. So first row, and knit every stitch. This was the English style. If you knit continental style, it's the same. Knit every stitch. The last one, only on this first row, I like to knit it through the back loop so we don't get a huge loop there. second and every even row, right side of the work. The repeat is what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you have the link to the written pattern below this video on the description box. So, the repeat is for one, and knit one on the row below. You have to Insert the needle in the stitch that belongs to the previous row. Let's do it again. Pearl one, knit one from the row below. Pearl one, knit one from the row below. You have to insert a needle below the bump. If you need continental, pearl one, knit one from the row below. Pearl one, knit one from the row below. And repeat. This is it. These two rows create the pattern. Let's do them again. First and every even row, knit across. That means knit every stitch. Second and every even row, the repeat is pearl one, knit one from the row below. When you see the V, insert the needle on this little hole. Pearl one, knit one from the row below and repeat. Pearl one, knit one. 
If you knit continental, it's the same. Purl one, knit one from the row below and repeat. So this is it, my little woolies. You need to knit a little bit further to see the pattern. Repeat these two rows until the desired length is reached. When finished, bind off knitwise after a row two. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and happy knitting!